Welcome back, this is Don and I'm going to show you how to take just a regular spreadsheet and turn it into a data feed store using your universal data feed converter that you downloaded from uh, datafeedshops.com. Uh, first thing you want to do is go to the admin panel and put in your password and username. That will take you to the uh, home page of the admin section. You can access this feature either by going to the uploads tab and going to generic universal or clicking on the green X. And this is a real simple program. All you're doing is taking a spreadsheet that we provide and putting the right information in the right columns. That's all there is to it. Uh, you can grab the spreadsheet here, save it to your desktop or to a folder, but make sure you remember where you put it. It's really important. Uh, there's a key here that tells you what kind of information goes in each column uh, and what's required. Very little is required, but some items like item name are required. Uh, and you can put those in uh, in that format. Uh, here's an example of one I put 10 or 11 products in. Uh, the first thing you want to do is look at the columns. Product ID, that's pretty self-explanatory. Product name, that again is pretty self-explanatory. You can either uh, put these in by hand or you can just cut and paste from one spreadsheet into this spreadsheet. Uh, just make sure you put it in the right columns. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's a very, very simple tool. If you can know how to use a spreadsheet, you can make a spreadsheet with just about any item. Make sure you put all the pricing information in. Uh, it's not absolutely required, but if you're going to have a store, you're going to want to put the prices. So you've got spots for regular price, sale price, special deals, things of that sort. Uh, once you've done that, you're going to want to put in a URL, uh, which is where the buy button goes to. Now this can either be uh, to a Google Checkout or a PayPal link, or it can go to any affiliate store that you happen to be working with. Just make sure you put in uh, your your affiliate name and or ID number uh, when you're doing this. It's all in there. I'm going to check this uh, link to make sure it works. This one is for a, a program called Longevity that I sell for, uh, and I've made a store for them. Put it in my made products and put it in my store and it did work just fine. Uh, the last thing you want to do is images. Uh, just uh, put uh, the name of the image, actually put images forward slash the name of the image which is 12345.jpg something like that. Here's the key, you gotta make sure you actually upload the images to your server because you're, that's where you're calling them from. So grab the images that you've saved and upload them to the images folder in your shop uh, software. Now, uh, not the admin, but the actual shop. So it'll be shop forward slash images. Uh, go ahead and upload the images, and then uh, let's go ahead and save the spreadsheet. Now, to save the spreadsheet, the only thing you have to remember is you have to save it in the same format you got it, uh, which is a CSV file, uh, text CSV, and you can put it in any of these languages. Uh, we prefer UTF-8, but whatever the default is is fine. Just pick one you want and go. Uh, you want to use a pipe delimiter, not a tab delimiter, not a comma delimiter, none of that. You just put a pipe there and you don't actually need a text delimiter so just leave that blank. Uh, if you save this as a CSV file in pipe with a pipe delimiter, all you have to do is scroll down to the uh, browser section here and click on that little image there, browsers, and there's a place for you to upload this file. So remember where you put it and then click on it and then just press the submit button and now all of those products are in your store. And if you uploaded the images to the right folder, the images will be there with them. So let's go ahead and do a search. This was a health products store and by golly there they are with images and, and all that. Now each one of these uh, products gets its own product page where it takes more information from you know what you put in on that spreadsheet and it also creates a, a link uh, to the uh, to purchase the product or the buy now and it puts some suggested items in the bottom there uh, closely matched items for what you've got to hopefully uh, maybe increase sales a little bit by getting some extra extra product sales uh, you can uh, I mean, it's, it's pretty simple now you can go uh, back and see where it's got the title go ahead and copy that and go to the featured products list and just paste that in right there the title of the uh, of the product and press save in fact let's get two of them we're going to take two products copy it put that in line two save it and let's go back to your home page now and there you have your first two featured products right out of your spreadsheet now uh, you can have up to 10 featured products and when you click on the product of course it goes to a product page And that's all there is to it.